Hello everyone and welcome back after a bit of a break. I know it's been a long time, no sea situation here, however we've been extremely busy traveling across Europe. Back in September we visited the Netherlands to attend the seventh edition of Lift and Load where 185 loader cranes occupied the skies of Hilze in North Brabant and attracted over 8,000 visitors. One of the coolest trucks that we saw was a five axle Volvo truck with 200 ton meter Erkin crane that belonged to MCT from Belgium and the lucky driver was Peter which we were glad to talk to and ask a few questions about this great machine which happened to be the winner of week 37 cover photo contest on our Facebook group. And by the way, if you're interested in joining our community of uh, 25,000 crane enthusiasts on our Facebook group, check the link in the description. Also, you can find us on Instagram, TikTok and LinkedIn, where we post our great content daily. OK, let's get back in time and ask Peter a few questions about his truck. How long does it take to, to set up this crane like this? Yeah, 15 minutes. 15, 15 minutes. Yeah. One five. If you have the ballast, then we have to move it first. The two under the pieces, the full ballast. Yeah. Then I have to turn, I have to pick it up. Then it takes 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Can you travel with ballast? Yes, but not uh, the full ballast. Just the... I only always have to go two pieces off. Okay. Because of uh, the last axle mm -hmm. and the weight systems. How long does it take to set up the fly jib, let's say, to connect it? Is it similar like... To, to connect it, yeah, it's the same like uh, all the other okay. planes. Yeah. yeah. How, how much more extension does it give you? Uh, you know, the extra length on the fly jib. How long is the fly jib from the oh, yeah. tip to the... We, we only have it one week. Oh, really? I okay. Know, yeah, I know everything, yeah. This is 24 meters and with the fly jib it's 42. Okay. Flat. 42 so, flat, yeah. horizontal, yeah? Yeah, horizontal. Could you show us the remote control? Is it any different than, no, than no, other? It's not that different. The screen is a little bit different. Because most people, this, obviously, Palfinger has got their own design. Yes. And uh, this is like a Scanrico one, yeah? It is Scanrico. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same as. The screen like is a little bit different. Fassi uses them, HMF uses them, PM uses yeah. them, yeah? A lot of crane companies use these, uh, these remote controls. It's, it's called a screen, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with it. It looks like uh, my old uh, yeah. Effer. Uh, old Effer used to have it, but with an older screen. <laughs> yeah. This screen, you can see everything, how far they are out. The pressure on the ground, how much sun you push on the ground, you can see it. Oh, really? Yeah. It, does, it tells you how much force yes, is applied yes. to yeah. the... Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's really good. Yeah. The, because a lot of, pe a lot of sites in the UK uh, requires the, uh, the calculations for, for how much ground bearing pressure uh, is required to actually uh, position the crane on the ground. Because sometimes it could be like pipes or some uh, under, underground services. Yeah, dangerous, eh? yeah. But also when you turn the crane on the other side and here there is a, not a lot of pressure, they, it gives you a signal from there's not a lot of pressure there. It works a little bit slower than okay. safety procedures. Oh wow. Yeah. I've been to a few, few sites where they ask me how much force is being applied through the leg. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when you're in a factory, in a building, and they have a concrete floor, Yeah. Normally they can say yeah, you can only push this much or this much ton, so yeah. it's easy, you can see it. Wow. Uh, yeah, if you take something from 10 tons and you turn, yeah, the pressure yeah. goes up. This one hasn't got front legs yet, so... No, it's, no, no, it's no front you, legs. You, you can still lift it, but obviously yeah, re reduced no, 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 no. amount of... It's 100% uh, round. Is it? Yeah, 100%. Because no, sometimes they apply, because it's a quite a long chassis, but also they put additional uh, stabilizers on the front, yeah? Yeah, I know, I know. It's not necessary, but uh, they told me better not to do it. Always work, not uh, above the cabin. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't lift over the cabins, no. yeah. Then it's not necessary, <laughs> don't lift something who is uh, close front to the cabin, of the yeah. truck. Mm -hmm. So we've got, we've got quite a bit of details. Uh, Peter showed us uh, a special map that he can move around. Uh, uh, around Belgium, yeah? And, yeah, and Holland as well, or is it just Belgium? Uh, the map is from Belgium. Yeah, so he's he has to he's restricted to uh, to uh, move the lorry within certain areas and roads because of the excess of the weight. How big is the tank on this uh, diesel tank? Yeah, too small. Is it is it small? <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be like 500 there's liters. A, there's not a lot of room. Wow, still. Besides, yeah, a lot of people he needs, he needs rate. To start up. He needs to start up. Yeah, they need to do the, their own thinking. Yeah. yeah. It's a computer, eh? 
Wow, that's a good So here you see the pressure vision. from uh, the outriggers, yeah. the pressure on the ground. Now it's 25 meters. So this lift uh, you know, from the close up, uh, the, maximum the maximum weight? maximum of 39 tons to lift. 39. 39. Close, lift. close in. Like from, from here? Yeah, can lift. Well, and then that's then for uh, on the back side. On the back end, yeah. Because yeah. it's close to there. Yeah, yeah. It's not necessary to put the outriggers on the back. I don't need to extend them, I don't need to put them on the ground, 100%. Oh, you don't without. even need yeah, to They're them. only there for the stability, right. but extra and it'll stability be 30 if you want. And 39 ton at the back end. Very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now obviously, this can lift 48 tons though. It does well. No problem. 22. 22. Uh, uh, how much will that lift now, as it is? Yeah, right now. The hook on the crane, it can lift 48. So it's no problem to, to take Oh, wow. Yes. Right, okay. Mobile crane, so you don't need a taco. Yeah. But you can still drive on the red diesel. I still, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you can't load anything. You may not load anything on it. Yeah, because no, no loading deck. If you deck, want to load yeah. something on it, you can. it needs to be registered as a truck. As a truck, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now it's, it's a yeah, crane it's registered wagon. as a crane. A crane yeah, yeah. Only the, the chains and the straps. That's that always important. Yes. A lot of people always them. ask questions like, uh, what is the difference between this size of uh, crane than mobile crane? You know, like a standard mobile crane. Yeah. And obviously, a lot of mobile cranes, they don't come with fly jib attached, yeah? And this one has. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, it's not attached today. No. But there's a picture on the, on the window. Yeah, yeah. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like with yeah. the fly jib, yeah. yeah. So obviously, that's the advantage where you can actually set up in the narrow street, yeah. send something up like 15 meters yeah. or just less or a little bit less on the fly jib to send something on top of the building, let's say, yeah? So that's... And a mobile crane wouldn't be able to do it because it needs more space for throwing it around. Yeah. What, what is the uh, outrigger spread? Uh, let's say... If you put it 100%, this one, 3 meter and 70. 3 meter 70, to this yeah. side, yeah? This 340. And yeah. if you lift, let's say, on this side, yeah? yeah? You don't have to have outriggers fully on that side, yeah? Or they have to be out minimum 30% because the ballast turns on the other side. Okay, so... so you if you put it down and you go up, there's a lot of weight over there and it would go over. Right, so yeah. so so you have to have to, to lift fully on this side. You, yeah. you only have to have thirty percent on the opposite side. Yeah. If okay. it's less than thirty percent, so that's like you about one point two meters. A hook of sixty degrees. Okay, you can go higher because it's afraid. You yeah, can yeah. Turn over. That, that is, that, that is, that's an advantage because yeah. let's say the mobile crane, you have to set up fully on both sides because of the counterweight. So you need like minimum nine meters, yeah, yeah. eight nine meters width. And with this, you can have it like to seven meters, yeah? Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, that's a cool feature on this crane. You can pre-program this crane so you can, it can work within the ranges. So it, can, it doesn't have to go, it won't be able to go to the certain height, yeah? Or it, 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 it can s stop slowing into the obstacle. So let's say there is an obstacle on the, near the, near the slow, uh, counterweight, it will automatically stop. So, that's really good, yeah. And before you start, if you want, you can program it. You go with the crane to the left and you say, that is the maximum, the maximum I can go left. You push yeah. and it remembers, never go over that point. Right, up, down and the far also. That's if really good, yeah. Go far or not far. It just gives you the, the uh, peace of mind, yeah? yeah? So it's actually... It's only, it takes a, lot of, uh, a little bit of time before you start. But when you are there, uh, uh, the whole day to yeah. do the crane job. Mm -hmm. yeah? It's a very good option. Well, it is good, yeah. You have it. But you've got to, you always have to. F also always because you can work, forget yeah. about something. And, and then. If you work inside, it's also good. You go once up, you look how high is the roof. Yeah, measure it. And 20 centimeters from the roof, you push it, you go down, you do all the crane. You need to go up, no problem. Oh, you set, so you set your points yeah, where you yeah. want to work to you the push limits, up, yeah? Up, up, up. It comes to the roof, crane stops. Okay, so you, you, you can preset your uh, limit points. Set, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the safety limits, yeah, yeah, if you want, if you wish, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm here being corrected. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> now, how much did that cost? We'll just try to ask, we'll try to figure out. It's, mm. it's probably north of 800,000 euro. There was a problem with it. So we called to the people in Turkey. They told us on the phone, try this, try this, try this, and it didn't work. On Friday, yeah. Monday evening, two people from Turkey were here to fix the problem. Wow. They got a very good service. Yeah. Where are they based in Turkey? Oh, I think it's two hours driving from Istanbul. Istanbul, I yeah. I don't know the correct address that yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah.
Yeah. We have to go to yeah. Turkey find out yeah. for holidays. Yeah. <laughs> and at this point we had to cut the conversation because we still had loads and loads of stuff to see at the event. And frankly, as we walked in through the back door and Peter's truck was the first in line, it took us pretty much two hours to walk 100 meters and talk with other great people and see other great builds. So yeah, we still had to preserve space on our recording devices. Hence, this is the end of the interview. I hope you enjoyed it. We really like uh, talking to Peter. We hope we're gonna meet again in the future. And in the meantime, check other videos on our channel and see you in the next video.